Investing in stocks is complex for young adults with limited funds and significant student loans. However, even a small amount of money can grow when done right. While the stock market can be intimidating and associated with financial losses, it can also be a path to wealth for those who understand how it works. Although these notions may hold some truth, comprehending and earning money from the stock market is simpler than you may imagine. First and foremost, let's understand the concept of a stock, which represents a share in a company. Stocks. What are they? Stocks, or shares, represent ownership of a company. For example, if we take Apple as a company with 1,000 shares, buying one share means owning a small portion, one one-thousandth, of Apple. Companies like Apple have millions of shares, but this gives you the basic idea. Owning a stock means owning a piece of the company. As the company's value increases, the stock price goes up. There are two types of stocks, common and preferred. Common stocks have voting rights, allowing you to participate in important decisions. Preferred stocks, while lacking voting rights, offer certain advantages. Preferred shareholders receive priority when the company distributes profits as dividends and have a preference in other financial situations. Stocks can be more complex, but these explanations suffice for basic investors. What is the purpose of stock sales? Companies sell stocks to raise money easily and quickly. The value of a company in the stock market is often based on its potential future earnings. So, even small companies can make a lot of money if investors believe they will succeed. To sell shares, a company needs the stock market. They do this through an initial public offering, IPO, which changes the company from privately owned to publicly traded. IPOs allow founders to cash out or raise funds. Once a company's stocks are listed, anyone can trade them. Stock prices fluctuate based on public opinion, but overall trends depend on the company's earnings and operations. These can be measured using metrics like P-E ratios and other indicators. It may seem complicated, but it's more manageable for casual investors. How and why? Let's first talk about TradeView. TradeView is a popular online trading platform that enables individuals to invest in various financial instruments, including stocks, currencies, commodities, and more. By utilizing platforms like TradeView, investors can take advantage of the potential for higher returns compared to traditional savings accounts in banks. Investing in the stock market through platforms like TradeView offers the opportunity to generate substantial profits over time. As mentioned in the example, investing in stocks such as Apple in the past has yielded significant returns. While past performance is not indicative of future results, it demonstrates the potential for substantial growth and wealth accumulation through wise investment choices. TradeView provides access to a wide range of investment options, allowing investors to diversify their portfolios and potentially mitigate risks. Diversification involves spreading investments across different asset classes and industries, reducing the impact of any single investment's performance on the overall portfolio. This strategy can help investors achieve more stable returns and potentially minimize losses. Furthermore, TradeView offers tools and resources to assist investors in making informed decisions. These platforms typically provide real-time market data, analysis, charts, and indicators that can aid in identifying investment opportunities and making well-informed trades. By leveraging these resources, investors can enhance their understanding of the market and make more strategic investment choices. Investing through platforms like TradeView presents an opportunity to earn higher returns compared to traditional banking methods. By diversifying investments and utilizing the available resources, investors can potentially build significant wealth over time. However, it is essential to note that investing involves risks, and individuals should conduct thorough research, consider their risk tolerance, and seek professional advice before making any investment decisions. Trading automates. In the past, buying or selling stocks required people to be physically present on a trading floor. This manual process was time consuming. But now, things are different. Most trading is done automatically using computerized systems. These systems quickly match buyers with sellers without the need for face-to-face -face interaction. As a result, the market moves much faster than before. You'll notice the stock market's rapid pace today, even if you're just a casual observer. Why should you invest? Well, let's keep it simple. If you have money and put it in a bank, you earn around 2-3% interest annually. That's not bad. But if you invest your money wisely in something like stocks, you can make a lot more money. Let's take Apple as an example. Imagine you bought $1,000 worth of Apple stock back in 1997. 
Today, that investment would be worth roughly $1.5 million. That's a huge return on your initial investment. Of course, that investment took a long time to grow, but it shows that investing can be very profitable if you choose the right company. Some companies even provide 30 to 70% returns each year, which can help you build significant wealth over time. In comparison, keeping your money in a bank account will only give you a small return, like 2 to 3% per year. So, as long as you can make more than 3% in the stock market, you're doing better with your money than just leaving it in the bank. Investing. What to do? Investing in stocks involves purchasing shares of companies that are expected to succeed. To begin trading, one needs to have a trading account, which can be opened with various providers such as E-Trade, major banks, or free services like Robinhood. Robinhood, in particular, offers commission-free trading, eliminating the need to pay fees for investing in a company. By signing up for a Robinhood account, one can receive a free stock. Once an individual has a trading account, they need to decide which company's stocks to buy. This can be a challenging task as stock prices can range from a few cents to thousands of dollars. It is important to note that when investing in stocks, one cannot buy a fraction of a stock, it is an all-or-nothing investment. For instance, investing in Amazon requires at least $1,800, at the time of recording, while there are cheaper options available for just a few dollars from well-rated companies. Before making a purchase, conducting thorough research is crucial. It is necessary to understand how a company generates revenue, evaluate its financial stability, and consider expert opinions regarding its potential as an investment. It is important to remember that investing in stocks carries some level of risk. Therefore, it is advisable to only invest money that one can afford to live without for a while or until a particular stock recovers from difficulties. Wrapping up this video has covered the basics of investing in the stock market through TradeView, including setting up a trading account, choosing companies to invest in, considering stock prices, conducting thorough research, and being mindful of the risks involved. That's okay if you're a beginner. The ideal way to understand the stock market and participate is by starting with a small amount of money that you're prepared to lose, taking risks, and making smart investment choices. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more stock and portfolio analysis videos. Until next time, happy investing!